Hello. Welcome again to Living English. Today we're looking at giving warnings and a verb tense called the past continuous. In the last episode of Sisters and Brothers, Anne was driving with Steve and Sarah. The stall attendant at the market gave them an address for her lost brother, and now they are on the way there, but they are in trouble. <laughs> What's that? It's the cops. Can I see your license, please? Here you are. I'm sorry, officer. What's the problem? I'm afraid you were travelling at 70 kilometres per hour in a 60 kilometre zone. I also see you have a passenger in the back seat who is not wearing a seat belt. Do you know that you must wear a seat belt when you're travelling in a vehicle, ma'am? I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, you see, officer, my friend here has been looking for her brother who she hasn't seen for two years. And we've just discovered the address. We were driving there when you pulled us over. Yes, well, you hear a lot of stories in this job. I haven't heard that one before. But it's true! I'm really sorry. It's all my fault. I was only thinking about my brother, and now you're in trouble. It's OK, Anne. Yeah. It's my fault we're going too fast. Look, just stick to the speed limit, OK? Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. But that's no excuse for not wearing a seatbelt. All right, now be off with you. Hope to find your brother, man. Thanks, officer. Anne, Steve and Sarah were lucky that the policeman who stopped them was kind. Let's look first at some of the words used in that episode. What's that? It's the cops. When Steve sees the police motorbike behind the car, he says, it's the cops. Actually, it's just one cop. Cop is a slang term for a policeman. It's not really rude, but you shouldn't use it when talking to a policeman. What does the policeman ask Steve? Can I see your license, please? Here you are. I'm sorry, officer. What's the problem? The policeman asks Steve for his driver's license. He says, Can I see your license, please? The policeman is asking politely, although the law says Steve has to show him his driver's license. A license is a piece of paper that says you are allowed to do something, such as drive. Notice how it is spelled, with a C. The word license with an S is a verb. So you are licensed to drive if you have a license. The policeman says, can I? And he says, please. He could also say, may I? Or could I? First, practice saying, can I see your license, please, with the clip. Can I see your license, please? Let's try some other phrases like this. First, use may I. May I see your license, please? Could I? Could I see your license, please? Now let's try some other phrases using could you. Get out of the car, please. Could you get out of the car, please? Turn off the engine, please. Could you turn off the engine, please? Come with me to the station. Could you come with me to the station, please? Luckily, Steve doesn't have to go to the station or police station. Listen now for two reasons why the policeman pulled them over. I'm sorry, officer. What's the problem? I'm afraid you were travelling at 70 kilometres per hour in a 60 kilometre zone. I also see you have a passenger in the back seat who was not wearing a seat belt. What was the first reason? It was the speed of the car. 
The policeman tells Steve he was travelling at 70 kilometres per hour, but the speed limit was 60 kilometres per hour. The speed limit is the maximum speed you can drive in a particular zone or area. So Steve was travelling too fast. Was travelling is a verb tense called past continuous. It describes a continuous action in the past. Travelling is a continuous action, one that goes on for a time. And it is a past action. Because Steve is not travelling now, he has stopped. Try saying, you were travelling with the policeman. I'm afraid you were travelling at 70 kilometres per hour in a 60 kilometre zone. Try the phrase, travelling too fast, with different pronouns. I... I was travelling too fast. He... He was travelling too fast. Remember to change was to were with plurals, we, you and they. We... We were travelling too fast. They... They were travelling too fast. What was the second thing they were doing wrong? I also see you have a passenger in the back seat who was not wearing a seat belt. Sarah was not wearing her seat belt. This is another example of past continuous. She was not wearing her seat belt when the policeman pulled them over. It was a continuous action in the past. Notice how the word not goes in between was and wearing to make the negative. Let's try some different phrases like this. First, repeat. She was not wearing a seat belt. She was not wearing a seat belt. Driving safely. She was not driving safely. Obeying the road rules. She was not obeying the road rules. Now look at how the policeman gives Sarah a warning. Do you know that you must wear a seatbelt while you're travelling in a vehicle, ma'am? You must wear a seatbelt while travelling in a vehicle. While means during the time. It's used to link two ideas together. The law says that someone who is travelling in a car must be wearing a seatbelt at the same time. Let's look at some other examples of this. You are on a bus. You must have a ticket. You must have a ticket while you are on a bus. You are in a restaurant. You mustn't smoke. You mustn't smoke while you are in a restaurant. You are driving. You mustn't drink alcohol. You mustn't drink alcohol while you are driving. But Sarah has an excuse. Listen. You see, officer, my friend here has been looking for her brother who she hasn't seen for two years. And we've just discovered the address. And I've just discovered Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Brenton. Hello, everyone. That sentence from Sarah giving her excuse was very long and complicated. Yes, but we can use it to revise some verb tenses. Sarah is telling a complicated story, so she uses the different verb tenses to talk about when things happened. First, my friend has been looking for her brother. This present perfect continuous tense tells us that Anne was looking in the past and is still looking now. Then she says, who she hasn't seen for two years. Who refers to Anne's brother. Remember, we can link ideas with who. My friend has been looking for her brother. She hasn't seen him for two years. My friend has been looking for her brother, who she hasn't seen for two years. She hasn't seen him shows that in all that time, 
and did not see her brother, and she still hasn't seen him now. Finally, we've just discovered the address. This is the present perfect tense. They discovered the address just a little while ago, at the market. Just means only a small time in the past. Let's listen to that story again, and a bit extra from Steve. You see, officer, my friend here has been looking for her brother who she hasn't seen for two years, and we've just discovered the address. We were driving there when you pulled us over. Steve says, we were driving there when you pulled us over. We've looked before at when. It connects two actions which happened at the same time. We were driving there. You pulled us over. We were driving there when you pulled us over. Try a couple of others like this. We were speeding. You stopped us. We were speeding when you stopped us. He was winning, he fell over. He was winning when he fell over. Let's go back to the story again. Listen to the policeman. Yes, well, you hear a lot of stories in this job. I haven't heard that one before. He says, you hear a lot of stories in this job. Who is you? The policeman is using you instead of saying I. I hear a lot of stories has a similar meaning. You hear a lot of stories means that people doing his sort of job hear a lot of stories. And stories are people's excuses for breaking the law. He also says, I haven't heard that one before. The story that Sarah tells him is a new story. This is the first time he's heard that story. So he hasn't heard it before. That is, in any time before now. So whose fault is it? Let's look again. I'm really sorry, it's all my fault. I was only thinking about my brother and now you're in trouble. It's okay, Anne. It's my fault we're going too fast. Anne says it was her fault. And Steve says it was his fault. Fault is being responsible for doing something wrong. Steve says it was my fault we were going too fast. It was his fault because he was driving. He was responsible. Try at home saying, it was my fault. We were late. It was my fault we were late. We had an accident. It was my fault we had an accident. We can also use the present tense. It is my fault. We're taking too long. It's my fault we're taking too long. No, it's my fault. But we're nearly finished. Finally, let's look at two warnings the policeman gives. First, a warning for Steve. So just stick to the speed limit, OK? To stick to something is to keep to it. Drive at or below the speed limit. The policeman is warning Steve not to drive too fast or to speed. And here's the second warning. But that's no excuse for not wearing a seatbelt. He is warning Sarah about not wearing a seatbelt. She should have been wearing a seatbelt. Her reason was not good enough. Well, I wonder if they will find Anne's brother in the next episode.